Well, primarily it is the road Jefferson Crossing in the area of Farmington to the west. I'm going to use directions northeast, southwest to the west is Eli Road, Jefferson Crossing, you know, runs east west into a cul de sac. Um, there's seven homes on Jefferson Crossing. Uh, it's a private road. We have scroll. a homeowners association. Well, I'm going to scroll in a little bit. Is your residence depicted on this? It is. Could you please point to it? Okay. And Jefferson Crossing? This is Jefferson Crossing down the cul de sac. And the road to the left, please, going, I guess, north and south? From here down is Eli Road. Okay. And, sir, where's Ford Jefferson Crossing? Ford Jefferson Crossing is right here. Now, sir, you indicated this was a, a housing, houses built by Fotos Dulos. Did you also have a housing association? We did. We had a homeowners association. Okay. If you wouldn't mind having a seat. <clears throat> <clears throat> Who was involved in the homeowners association? Well, all the homeowners were members of the association. Could I at least have a timeline, Your Honor? This is now what found the foundation, at least in terms of when it was involved. Sure. Um, we'll start with 2000, around the time period of 2017. 2017. Yes, sir. Um, there were all the residents of Jefferson Crossing were members of the homeowners association. Including Photos Dulos? including photos doulos. And did you have meetings? We did. And where were the meetings held? Uh, up until 2019, we had those meetings in Fotis' offices at Ford Jefferson Crossing. Prior to 2017, would Jennifer attend those meetings? She would. And after 2017, did she attend any of those meetings? So the meetings were usually held in the beginning of each year. So it'd be in the beginning of 18, beginning of 19, Etc. So she did not attend the meeting in the beginning of 18. Now, in 2017, did you learn that Jennifer had left Fort Jefferson Crossing in Photos Dulos? I did learn that, yes. Prior to 2017, what would you characterize your relationship with Jennifer Dulos as? Very friendly. I mean, they were, Jennifer was a great neighbor. Our kids attended the same school. We saw them at school functions. Uh, the kids played. We, we saw them um, in the neighborhood. Uh, we saw them out and about. We had uh, gone to their home for Greek Easter, as an example. They came to our home for like an Oscar viewing party. We went out to dinner with them a couple of times in West Hartford Center. So, you know, neighborly. Uh, did you ever meet Michelle Traconis? I did. When did you meet Michelle Traconis? In August of 2017. Could you please explain that first meeting? Yes. Um, Fotis called and asked if he could come over for a drink to introduce us to Michelle. Michelle, you see, was moving into Fort Jefferson Crossing. And Michelle also had a daughter that was my daughter's age, and they were going to be attending the same school. So Fotis wanted to introduce Michelle uh, and her daughter to our family um, as a way to get into the neighborhood, to get to know the neighborhood. And when was that? It was in August of 2017. Now I'm going to draw your attention to Memorial Day weekend of 2019. Okay. Uh, did you learn that Jennifer had been missing since May 24th? Uh, I learned uh, mid-morning on the 25th that Jennifer was missing. How did you learn that information? Well, in the early morning of the 25th, um, a neighbor had called me before. Objection it, hearsay. Well, the state is probably not offering for the truth, but to indicate how this witness came to know about Jennifer Dulos being missing, overruled. In the early morning of the 25th, a neighbor uh, had called me on my cell phone, which during the work week would not be unusual, but on a Saturday it would, um, alerting me to the fact that an unmarked Farmington police officer was on the road. Um, and, and he had no indication as to why he was on the road. Um, and he asked him, but the Farmington police officer would not tell him. Um, later that morning, um, as I mentioned before, we moved from New Canaan to Farmington. Friends from New Canaan had sent my wife a news article. Objection, hearsay. Overruled. Okay. If you can, sir, is that how you learned about Jennifer Dulos being missing? That's correct, from a news article, correct. Okay. Uh, 
Did you speak to Fotis Doulos that weekend? I did. Where were you when you spoke to him? Uh, I was in uh, the front of my house in my driveway. What were you doing? I was taking my dog for a walk. What did Fotis Doulos look like? Um, he had a shaved head, and he I did not recognize him initially. Um, he was riding a one-wheel scooter past my home up towards Eli Road. And I that was unusual to see someone doing that, especially towards Eli Road. But more importantly, I didn't, I didn't recognize who it was. It is a private road, as I mentioned. So it didn't, I didn't know who it was. Well, what time of day was this? About 8.45 in the morning. Did you speak to him? He did approach me. And that's when I recognized his voice and recognized it was Fotis. What did he say to you? Well, at first I, I said to Fotis, you know, how are you? And his response to me was, you know, Jennifer's missing, right? And what did you say? Uh, I said to him, yes, I'd heard that. I hope she's okay, but I have not heard about the children. I hope they're okay. What was his response? His response was... Um, He asked me how long we retained our security video and to make sure it didn't get deleted because he needed to prove that he was there on Friday. Did he say anything else to you? He did. What did he say? Uh, he talked about uh, going to New Canaan on Saturday uh, and how the police uh, seized his phone. He talked about his attorney uh, telling him that they need to develop uh, a chronological timeline of where they were on Friday uh, so that they can produce it if needed. Uh, did he use the word they? He did use the word they. That they needed to develop a timeline? He did. Did there come a time when Fotos Dulos spoke to you again? He did. Uh, with respect to your camera and video surveillance? He called me on May 30th on that Thursday, uh, asking to come over at that point in time to review our video. And did you allow him to do that? I was at the office. I was working and I told him that wasn't a great time to do that. Did you ever speak to him again? Uh, uh, not until the summer. Now, I do want to ask you about your video camera and your video system. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have cameras in place on May 24th? I had two cameras in place on May 24th. What type of cameras were they? <clears throat> they were ring cameras. And where were they located? Uh, one was located on the corner of our garage facing the parking area near our four garage doors. And one was a doorbell cam by our mudroom facing out the eastern part of our driveway towards Jefferson Crossing. Did you subsequently get a third camera? I did. When did you do that? I got that camera on May 26th. Where did you place that camera? I placed that camera in the northwest corner of the house, facing out towards the road. If you can, sir, I'm going to scroll into the map behind you. Would you mind uh, standing up and just pointing to where you installed that camera the on one, May 26th? Uh, that camera would have installed on this corner of the house. Okay, and what area did it capture? This area towards Jefferson Crossing. And you installed that after your conversation with Fotos Dulos? I did. And after you had learned that Jennifer had been missing? I did. Uh, sir, what, was that camera motion activated or a continuous stream? It was motion activated. Uh, could it pick up the uh, motion that was on the road, cars passing and the like? Yes, it could. And was the time accurate? Yes, it was. Now, how long had you... Did you say you lived at Jefferson Crossing? You can have a seat, I'm sorry. Since 2010. And for how long did Fotos Dulos uh, reside at Fort Jefferson Crossing right next to you? I believe they moved in the 2012-2013 timeframe. Okay. So uh, between 2012 and 2019, particularly the time period of 2019, uh, are you familiar with the vehicles that were associated with Fotos Dulos? I am. What were those cars? There was a, a black Suburban, there was a Ford Raptor, there was a white Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, there was a Porsche Cayenne, um, but that hadn't been seen for a while. I believe that was crashed. Um, 
And then from time to time, there was a red, for, a red Toyota Tacoma that was parked at Fort Jefferson Crossing for periods of time. Who owned, to your knowledge, the red Toyota? Objection, <laughs> hearsay, no foundation. Oh. The question is, who owned, to your knowledge, the Toyota Tacoma? Well, the court's going to sustain the objection. Mr. Huggins, uh, do you know somebody by the name of Pavel Gormini? I do. How do you know him? Pavel worked for uh, FOTUS for a long time. He did a lot of maintenance for us, for the association up and down the road. Um, and part of that means was he did all the snow plowing for the road and for our homes, for a lot of our homes up and down Jefferson Crossing. Do you know what vehicle he uses to plow the roads? Yes. What vehicle is that? It was a red Toyota Tacoma. Did you see that vehicle parked at Fort Jefferson Crossing uh, from time to time? I did. Okay, particularly in 2019, did you see that vehicle parked? I did. Where was it usually parked? Um, okay. It was usually parked in this area. How could you see it from, you're putting to, I'm sorry, the lower right-hand corner? Kind of the southern part of the driveway. Okay. And were you able to view it from the road? We could view it from our driveway. Okay. Now, sir, I'm going to, at some point, did the uh, New Canaan police or state police come to your residence and speak to you? They did. They came to our residence on uh, May 27th. And what did they ask of you? So uh, three officers came, two from the state police, one from New Canaan. Objection, non-responsive. Well, so what did they do? Well, uh, the court is going to allow Attorney Manning to ask the question again. What did they ask you to do, sir? Well, first they asked for our video. Um, they also asked what we saw, <laughs> the cars that we knew were used from time to time at Fort Jefferson Crossing. Um, they asked about the relationship, as we knew it, between Fotis and Jennifer. And did you allow them uh, access to your video camera that day? Well, I, I did not. We were, frankly, on our way to a Bruins game, and we spent about an hour with them and then hustled off the Bruins game. And when we returned home, we then emailed them the videos. Okay. When you say you emailed them the videos, what do you mean by that? If you could just explain. So with the ring camera, you can download each snippet, and I downloaded what was not us tripping the cameras and emailed it to Officer Deke in New Canaan. Now, on, uh, did, what day was that, by the way? I'm sorry. That you day? downloaded the, the cameras I, and emailed them I, I, to I the I think we police. started downloading them on when we got back from the Bruins game and then emailed them on that Tuesday. Did that include the, was that before or after the new camera was installed? Well, it was, we emailed them after the new camera was installed. Did there come a time when you reviewed footage from May 29th of 2019? There did. When did you do that? Um, around July 27th, I looked at it. Why did you review May 29th in July? Well, when, when, I, when I spoke to Photos on the 26th, he requested that I not have anything deleted. I did not know what the retention policy was for the ring service plans. So then I learned at that point in time it was 60 Objection. days. Objection, hearsay. Well, what do you learn? Well, the phrase, what I learned, need not be considered hearsay. The court does not know what the balance of the statement is. If I may, Your Honor, it's the fact that the ring camera, his retention period he learned was 60 days. State's not offering that for the truth of the matter, that it was 60 days, just what he did with that and why, what steps he took after he learned that information. So oh, it's not offered for a hearsay. Objection. I would objection also, is withdrawn. Thank you. Sir, if you can continue. So that was at the 60-day time period. And um, it, when I was originally... Um, requested by the officers who came to our home on the 27th, they were only looking for video from the 24th. So when I was looking at all the cameras, I was looking to see what they had and preserve that video so it wasn't 
erased. And did you find or did you preserve any video or send it to the police at, in that July date? I did. What did you send? I, send them, I sent them, I believe, two videos of uh, vehicle movements on Jefferson Crossing on May 29th. Why did you choose those videos? Um, for a few reasons. Um, n number one, um, I wasn't asked for video after the May 24th time frame. But in seeing the movement of those two vehicles in tandem, coupled with my odd interaction with FOTUS on the 26th, coupled with what was well known, publicly Objection. available. Here we get, now we're getting into the hearsay. Well, if it appeared in the media, it's well known, overruled. What was well known at the time of movement in the north end of Hartford, that movement just struck me as odd. Did you send those clips to the police? I did. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna show you uh, what has been marked as fi file 529804. Let's stop it first, sir. What are we looking at? So this camera's, we'll call it facing north from the northwest corner of my home, uh, out over my driveway and my front yard and onto Jefferson Crossing. At what time is this recorded? 8.04 in the morning. Okay. Sir, I'm actually going to ask you a few questions about this video, if I can. Um, now, as we play it, this street in the middle, do you see the cursor? I do. Is that Jefferson Crossing? That is Jefferson Crossing. Okay. Where is Fort Jefferson Crossing? So, um, to the right of the screen, you'll see a tree line, and Fort Jefferson Crossing is to the right. And where's the driveway to Fort Jefferson Crossing? Um, it's probably about 50 yards to the east of my driveway. If you can, sir, would you mind pointing to it on the screen? Sure. So Jefferson Crossing would be behind these trees right here. Okay. And if I were to bring the file back, at around 14 seconds, do you see a vehicle? In that area? I do. Okay, gotcha. Is that vehicle turning into the driveway for Jefferson Crossing? Yes, that vehicle is turning into the driveway for Jefferson Crossing. Okay, is this the, vi the video clip you sent to the police? That's one of them. I'm gonna, you can have a seat, sir. I'm gonna play, oh, I apologize, uh, 529856. If you could take a look. I'm going to stop it there briefly, sir. Um, is this the video that you sent to the police as That's, well? That is one of them, yes. And why did you send this clip? Well, as I, I said before, um, what we knew on the... I'm going to hit play. In July, what we knew, based on the media reports, it was different. Objection. The fact that there were these reports is one thing, but now I was getting to the what he learned in the media. Well, the question was... Essentially, what's the reason you sent these videos to the police? And this witness, witness is explaining his reason. Yeah, but the fact that he, based on something in the media, is, answers the question, I would submit that anything else would be just clear hearsay. Well, the witness is explaining what he did and his reasons for it. Overruled. If you can, sir, explain why you sent those videos to the police. So again, based upon that interaction I had with Fotis on the 26th, based upon the fact um, 
of what we had learned from the media at that point in time, the visits to North End, I had two cars leaving in tandem, which was not consistent with normal vehicle movement patterns. And you've lived at that residence for how many years at that point? Nine years. Now, you indicated you were familiar with the vehicles and the vehicle patterns. Yes. Um, do you recognize this vehicle, the red truck? Yeah, that's, that's Pavel's truck. And what about the vehicle behind it? Well, that vehicle is a, uh, that's a GMC Yukon XL. Um, that was a rental. Okay. And was that the vehicle that we saw in the previous clip? It was. Okay, that, that's the 804 one. And I apologize, I wasn't sure if I said the time of the second video. Just pause it there. Uh, 529 at what time? 8.56 and 43 seconds. I may just have one moment, Your Honor. Sir, with respect to, I'm not sure if I got your answer, uh, with respect to the 804 clip and the 856 uh, clip, that black vehicle, is it the same vehicle? It is. Thank you. I have nothing further.